Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndrewRoots.com, and today is another great ROM for you. It's the stocks. You're not going to see a lot of new features. This is a stock ROM that is already pre-rooted for your Nexus 4 device. So as you can see, I'm running on the stock ROM. So let's actually, uh, let's actually jump into settings right away and show you that we're on the stock one. So as you can see right there, we're on 4.2.2, Jelly Bean, still Jelly Bean. Hopefully Key Lime Pie does come uh, during this June or July. Um, hopefully they do uh, at least so much a little uh, preview feature of the new uh, Android version. <laughs> so as you can see, um, everything is still almost the same. You can see um, nothing major difference. That's why it's point two, uh, coming from point one. So nothing major. I kept the widgets the same so you can just see... Um, the difference um, if the widgets did change locations or anything like that if you guys were wondering um, but there are some noticeable features um, let, let's actually um, show you so when you usually turn your Wi-Fi and you tap on it it usually goes to your settings but now you have the option when you hold down the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi actually does turn on so give that a few seconds and it's actually turned on and hold it down to turn it off and same thing with Bluetooth it's turned on hold it down and it'll turn off very very easy much more efficient Unfortunately, it's not for the data. Uh, I really wish it was. Um, I hate going to settings. It just waste a lot of time. But uh, they like to say yes. You want to make sure you want to turn off the data and all that. You know, notification junk that I really don't like. But <laughs> they have to include it, I guess. Um, but there are some other features. Um, where's gallery? There we go. Gallery. They changed the animation, so the animation is quicker, so it does load up faster. So if we tap on that, it's loaded up very, very uh, quickly. And if you saw my Galaxy Nexus uh, version of this one, 4.2.2 stack rooted, um, it did load up a little bit slower just because it's an older device, but this one does load up very quickly too. Um, let's actually close that and try that one more time so you can see it. And there you go, it does load up quicker, not a lot quicker, I haven't noticed a big difference, but it does load up fairly quicker. Um, also, um, one other thing I did forget to mention on the Galaxy Nexus uh, eh, review of this was the installing apps it actually shows you the time when it's going to be finished so let's actually go into apps let's just go search top free and install uh, Skype right so let's go and install that and when you look at your notification section it's going to add it's actually going to tell you what time it's going to be finished and with the percentage so let's do it select install and here right there as you can see it says it's going to end at 935 so it's going to end uh, in the same minute within this so you got a little time right there and percent and now it's installing and it gives you the time when it's going to finish installing it as well. So it gives you much more accurate time when the app's going to finish installing and it, it, you can also be uh, told like you know how fast your internet speed is and all, how big the actual app file is too. It gives you a sense of how big it is and all that too. So that's another great feature too that um, I forgot to mention in the Galaxy Nexus video. Um, that's about it guys. Um, this does come pre-rooted as you can see by the super user. Um, it does come pre-rooted, so there's no worries about that. So if your if your um, stock RAM is already rooted and you want to update to 4.2.2, just go ahead and flash this via Clock Mod Recovery, and you're gonna enjoy it a lot more. And hopefully, you do enjoy this RAM. It's stock, very smooth, not smoother than 4.2.1, but it's great feature. And you always want to stay up to the latest date. I know everyone, uh, everyone I talk to does. So go ahead and try it out. Links down below for a step-by-step -step guide on how to install this. Uh, or not how to install this, but more details on the new features and download links down below too on this ROM. Just flash review clock my recovery. Make sure you don't unzip it. Just go ahead and you can download directly to your phone or transfer to your uh, download to your computer and transfer it to your computer. Um, but that's about it. Or transfer it to your phone. <laughs> Sorry about messing up so much. I am sick, not feeling well, but I figured one well, might as well do this video. You know, this came out recently. But that's about it guys, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner, as that does really help me out a lot, it shows me that you support me, and you want more of these great videos, especially Nexus 4 ROM reviews that will be coming up very very soon, so stay tuned for that too, and connect with me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, Plus. all links down below, ROM down below, subscribe, like button, everything is down below, thanks for watching guys. And hopefully you enjoy my new camera angle much more direct. Have spent 60 bucks on it. But hopefully it is worth the investment for you viewers. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Peace.